For uh, programming key fobs, um, if you're like me, when you got your interceptor, it came with just a, a blade without a key fob. Um, so the uh, interceptors did not come with, uh, I believe it's called PATS, P-A-T-S. Um, I believe that is where it recognizes the RFID in here. And uh, so when you put it in the ignition, um, if you didn't have, if you just had the blade key, it actually wouldn't start. Uh, that's for like commercial explorers because it needs the programmed chip. Um, and in order to set those or to uh, program those in a normal car, you'd put the key in, uh, cycle it a bunch of times, then you'd put the other one in. Um, there's like a whole procedure for it. Um, so normally, uh, if you have two keys, you can make it work that are already, you know, programmed to the pats. You can use that to get into the system. Well, our cars don't have pats. So in order to do that, it's actually a little bit different. So you are still going to put a key in and go into, um, go into uh, programming mode, but you, you get into it a little bit differently than if you've had any other uh, Ford keys before. Uh, Ford vehicles and use the keys. So um, these are different types of keys. This is the one that came with it. This is the key fob that came from the Sport uh, that I took the interior from. Now, uh, uh, well, then this is like just a normal um, Ford knockoff. This is like the Chinese ones. I think I got like two for 25 bucks or something like that. Um, so obviously, I'm not going to have remote start. Uh, I don't think the trunk button will work. Um, you know, I can go try to go turn them on in uh, force scan, but I just don't think that the BCM even, uh, the wiring and stuff isn't even there for it. Um, but in order to get into it uh, on the police interceptors, um, what you do is, uh, you know, have, have your key ready. Um, and then I'm just going to reset by opening and closing the door. Uh, and then you're going to go uh, lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Okay. And then you're going to come over here to the key and you're going to cycle it eight times and leave it on the on position. Now you're not starting the car, we're just cycling it. This, this might be familiar to you. This is more common for the Ford vehicles, this part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you hear the key? The, the locks, they, they went up and then went down. And that shows you're in key uh, lock mode or program mode. So um, now we've got our key fobs that I've had cut. Um, and then we're just going to push any button. Perfect. And then I just like to test the buttons by, you know, you don't have to push all four of them, but I like to just make sure that it's recognizing all of them. So by the way, if you go 20 seconds without having, um, something happen, um, it'll go out of program mode. So this one works too. Perfect. And then I'm just going to try it all on here. All right, and then you, you turn off the key and the key, uh, it'll show you that it goes out of program mode. Okay, all right, and so now we hop out. And uh, try this one. Oh, that one doesn't work. Oh, okay, it did work, just a little delay. Well, it unlocks, but it doesn't lock. Okay, it does work. All right. Guess I wasn't pushing hard enough. All right. Yeah, I just wasn't hearing it. We'll try this one. Okay, that one works. And let's see. I actually think it's telling me that the uh, when it honks like that, I'm pretty sure it's telling me that my trunk's not closed all the way, or one of my doors, but I think it's the trunk. So um, I think it just honks once if it's normal, so I need to get my trunk closed. But yeah, that's working. And so the other thing too is notice how the uh, lights are turning on. If you had your, uh, see that one just doesn't work as well, because that's what you get for Chinese keys. Let's try the other one. Okay, this one works way better. Okay, so if you want to have um, the feedback, is what that's what they call it, is like the lock feedback. Um, so when you unlock it, it lights up, and when you lock it, it turns off. So 
to uh, to have that feedback, and it does the same thing on the tail lights. Um, dark car mode, which is how the police cars usually come, does not have that. Um, you have to turn it on in four scan.